Hey Internet, how's it going today? My name is Alakazam, and I am here with Layers of Fear. Look at this. Five doors. There's only one left and it's locked. Oh my god. That means we're almost done, guys. It's almost over. Makes me sad. It's going to be beautiful painting. I'm really excited to see the ending of the painting. And one thing I don't show you guys is when I actually load the game, uh, the coolest thing happens. It, it As you progress in the game, the canvas is like the load screen. It's like on a wall. And it shows you uh, like your progression. And that's super cool. Um, talk about something a little interesting today. I was... Uh, I was on Twitter, as I sometimes do. And, uh... Why, why is that so slow? Yet that was so fast. Anyway, I was on Twitter, and, uh... There was a tweet. Running out of apples. Okay. I, I see plenty of apples. How do you like them apples? Uh, oh. Oh. So, Twitter. I'm chilling. There's apples. Can I can I kick the apples? No, I can't even touch the apples. And I see a tweet in response, uh, which is a screenshot of a YouTube comment in response to a video that was making fun of Assassin's Creed. Now, where you stand on Assassin's Creed is irrelevant for what I want to talk about. Uh, it was actually the contents of the comment. Oh. Hey now. All right, you are, uh, mm. I, I know what I said before about how I'm falling in love with the woman that we're painting, but my eyes have never seen such beauty. Once again, though, I digress. Hey, I want to see the swirling vortex. Is there a puzzle here? Am I just supposed to be spooked by the beautiful woman? And her adorable pet rat. Supposed to walk up good and close. Yeah, I am. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh my God. There's rats on the back. It's so scary. Am I gonna get swarmed by rats? That's creepy. Door work yet? No. I'm walking. Fucking fight me, rats! I'll step on your face. Oh, this is actually really cool. I'm not spooked. I'm impressed. Oh, fire rats. Alright, this is just not real. You don't. Rats don't run into fire. Oh, maybe this is good. The other spooky dog. Yep. I'm sorry, I know. I, I like to talk about the game itself, but I also like to talk about what I want to talk about. You brought me a rat! Love me! Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, we were talking about Assassin's Creed. I personally think Assassin's Creed games are terrible games. I, I don't enjoy them. I think that they are one of gaming's great mysteries. They're so popular. People buy them every year. And it's the same shit every time. Not only is it the same shit every time, but it's boring shit. It's repetitive shit. People talk about, oh, I don't like to play World of Warcraft because you use the same shit. Oh. Oh, I love these. It's a shadow, right? Oh no, it's just like a, yeah, it's a shadow. Because if I come over here, do I fuck with it? No, it's just the same. Never mind. No, it's totally a shadow. This is just broken. My shadow is not a thing. I'm not real. Got it. Uh, I'm a ghost, a spooky ghost. So I hate Assassin's Creed. I think it's a waste of time, and everyone complains about how it's this, that, the other thing. I think it's repetitive bullshit. Fine, whatever. Forget the glitches. It's just boring. Uh, this guy was responding to a video talking about how shitty Assassin's Creed is, and he was saying that one of the, the points that this guy made. It wasn't. It was a silly video, yes, but it was. It was a serious one. One of the points this guy made was how beautiful these colors are, but how shitty the controls are in Assassin's Creed. And I, for one, agree. I was not impressed by Assassin's Creed. 
And as I played it, my one time I played Assassin's Creed, because I did play it. I'm not just one of those guys who's like, it's popular, so it's bad. No, I, it was a dumb game. And, uh, I, I can't even fucking see. It's just dark. Not scary. Uh, you know, I agreed. I thought the controls were lackluster. They weren't interesting or fun. And I would fall a lot. And the comment that I saw, finally get to that, is that there's no such thing as bad controls in a game, merely bad players. Now, this is that got me wondering, what do people think about that? I disagree. I can I inherently disagree with that because if you play a game like Mario Odyssey, brand new game, it's absolutely flawless. There's like a the first time I picked it up I, I recall I said to uh, to everybody I talked about, really, that, oh, you know, I, I played this and it took a second to get used to. It wasn't quite as, as flawless as, uh, say, Mario 64. There's like a delay, I said. Is there error? Wait, no, hold on. There's gotta be a thing. There's gotta be a reason I did that. Hold up. If I go over here, I right, push it to the ball. Sorry. Uh, you know, it, it just went. It was a fluid, like, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Not intentionally, my friend. Uh, it, it was a very fluid motion. Whoa, I'm tripping balls. Woo! Nah, I can't paint, dude. I'm tripping balls. Alright, that's fine, but first. Hey. Open. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Cool. So there, there's like a phone number there. I wonder if there are rest of the phone numbers elsewhere in the game. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm dumb. 363 if any of the old codes work. We're going to try those right now. Uh, I think God was one of them. I was going to type God. Nope. Just move on. It's boring. Hold on. There's bugs. I'm going to type bug. Shit. Boring man. Uh, but you look at that, you get flawless controls, right? You look at Mario, you get the flawless control scheme. And I even felt that there's a slight uh, distance between button press and reaction in Mario Odyssey at first. But as I played the game longer, I realized no, I'm just a bad man. <laughs> it's the truth, because the game's got flawless controls. That being said, Cool, cool, push. No? Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, it's only this. I hit this. It's scary. But to do this, it's not scary, it's beautiful. I'm gonna stick with beautiful. Alright. That being said, go play. Go play something like. Uh, I, I haven't played a game with bad controls in a very long time. I'm trying to think of a, a good example. Alone in the Dark. The newer one. Yeah, any of them. Uh, specifically the one that was for Xbox 360. Uh, I'm going to pick this up. This, this is going to be words. But uh, if you play Alone in the Dark, it has four control schemes, and they're all bad. And that is a perfect example where, yeah, you can get used to it and you get better at it and that's fine, but 
wouldn't it be better to be able to demonstrate my skills with a one-to-one -one control scheme what like in Mario? What is taking so long? Open that. this fucking door! I need to go! Need to go. Open, up. Open up! Hell is... Hell is... Oh, God. Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. What have you done? No! I gotta get into the end. This is... I don't know if this is the finale or not, but we gotta be getting there. There is DLC for this game. I might buy it. I've never played it. I might get spooked. I think in that one, based on the, the cover art, I think you play as a kid. I mean, the kid's not dead. Just kind of fucked up is all. Flush the toilet. No? What am I supposed to do? Door's locked. So, continuing on with my <laughs> my rambling here, as I often do. So that does that. Do this. Am I supposed to fill you? Does this make you go faster? Happy? No. Oh wait. Supposed to look. What am I doing? I'm looking. Oh, okay. There is no conveyance as to what I'm supposed to do. Oh. I was supposed to hold the mouse. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, now I get it. All right, I'm gonna drown myself. While I drown myself and trip out over. Oh, yep, here she is. Hey, baby. I swim to you in my dreams. Don't phase away. I need you. I need you to love. Because every baby's only in this game like twice. And there's no other ladies to love me. What is it, like testing my bravery or something? I wasn't scared. Yeah. Go balls deep, buddy. Fight for your woman. So. I, I just, I think about this genuinely. And I say to you that you can't have bad players, and you can have bad players, and they aren't mutually exclusive. I have no idea what I was just looking at. It's kind of spooky, because I'm underwater. Oh, wow, look at all the dolls and shit. Are you going to show me a scary picture? Wait, why is it forcing me to do this? This isn't scary, it's repetitive and boring. Some cool scenery, I guess. I don't know. I know I'm rambling and I'm bouncing back and forth, as I often do. Shit. One second while this loads and I get to a scary looking bathroom ceiling. Sorry, I thought someone was at my door, and I did order food slightly before I started making this episode, so I thought maybe, just maybe. Finally, someone had to bear oh, witness. Shit. I couldn't just look at my own work. Art and the artist needed an audience, a critical eye on things. I knew what I had to do. I gouged it. Scooped it up like ice cream. Felt like a butcher. A monster, but at least there was to come something beautiful from all this filth. Okay. Still scary? Yeah, it's still scary. Can I leave? Yeah, I can leave. Oh man, this is... Whoa. Hey now. Alright. This 
So we got the last piece. It's an eyeball. But now I'm stumped. I don't know where to go. It's a game of checkers, but there's nothing to pick up. Several pieces on the floor. Paintings to help. Ah, here we go. I do it to find more. Okay, so they're gonna be around the room. Right? Ah, here's another one. something I wish I could experience in real life. Just checkers flying all over the place. Me being able to walk around them. Oh. Okay. You think I'm scared of babies? And giant rats? I see Princess Bride. I'm nice scared. Think I'm fucking scared? I'm a little scared. Birds of unusual sizes are frightening. Yeah, okay. Beginning to remember things now. This part was in the last part, or last time I played this, and I do recall getting stuck because I couldn't find the goddamn things. And there's so much shit everywhere, and it's so dark. And again, it's nothing scary, it's just like, where the fuck is it? I think I ended up having to actually, ironically, look up a video just to beat this part. And I thought, oh, I'll remember. Yeah, I'm really good at video games. Would you stop? Dear, would you scare me, please? Oh. Hey. Alright. This is fine. things and I'm like where is it because it's not where I just looked and then it's exactly where I just looked That's really fucking cool. There's like a heart in a rib cage. That's super neat. Hmm. Listen, that's dangerous. For the mouse is just doing this. It's forcing me to turn. In a circle. It's literally just the stuff making me turn. That is cool. I say that all the time, I know. That is a rat on a dinner plate. At least they gave me the stuff to eat it. Do I have to eat it? What do you stand to win? I don't have to play this game anymore. I can go back to playing silly, dumb games. It's a grand prize. Over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of 
hauntingly beautiful, he said again. I don't give a shit. I don't care about you. Fucking fight. What am I standing on? What is making me spin in circles? What the hell is doing this to me? I don't know if it's like an effect in the game that's trying to fuck with me, or if it's my mouse is broken, <laughs> or what the. Okay. Yeah. Going on a ride. That's all that matters. to bother the hell out of me. But now I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. She's leaving and she needed to make sure the whole world knew she wasn't going to be here. I... That's not where that goes. Listen, I know where things go. Is that... Is that medicine? I hope that's medicine. Do I come over here now? With my medicine? What do I do? Oh, the stairs fell away. I can't go up there anymore. Where do I go? It's like they just want me to go get all the spooks. Ah, it's so frustrating. So I can't go in there anymore. That's dumb. There's nothing there. I come in here? Yeah, okay. Who am I even playing with? That's that's a valid point. Who am I playing with? I like to think it's my wife. My dead wife that I killed and turned into a painting. Sometimes she visits me. She mostly screams and shakes her head rapidly and then I wake up in another room confused. It's very disheartening. You frighten the child. Sorry guys, I am very focused trying to figure this shit out. The last thing I want to do is have to like pause the video. But that might end up happening. I might end up even having to come back to this another day if we go too long with it. And I'm frightened that that's the case. I am not doing that though, that is really annoying. Especially when it's like, only sometimes this happens. But not every time. Oh. Ha! Ah. I get it now. Spook me. That's not where that goes. Okay. What am I accomplishing? I don't even know what I'm accomplishing. Just running the fuck around. What is this even for? Who am I create? Am I creating the woman now, like the scary woman, who's coming to eat me or whatever she does? Touch my butt, maybe. I don't. I don't, I don't even know. Oh, there's a safe. How do I even? 
Oh boy. Alright. So I gotta find a combination. Charmed. <gasps> My beloved hairy baby. You betrayed me. I was a fool. Spooky painting in a spooky room with a spooky chair, a bunch of stuff I can't climb over because I'm a baby. Okay, I am that is way faster. Yes, this is, this is trippy. I'll let you do your thing, buddy. out enough? Am I being drowned in my... Oh, that's cool as hell. Alright. I'm inside of the person. And I was here the whole time. <laughs> if I click this, this may be the end of the game. But it might also... Be the end of my love with Harry Baby. Time to see what happens. It's gonna be all fucked up, isn't it? Nope, she's beautiful. She yes! That's it! <laughs> it's beautiful. Perfect. Just like I always imagined. What? What is this? I don't understand. No. Stop it. Please. All right, cool, spooky. I'm so close. This time, I almost had it. I guess I can count this game as bad controls too because you know I was spinning I wasn't doing that and it was really frustrating I'm also not controlling this this is a cutscene so let's see what happens oh <laughs> he is perpetually painting these he can't live with the guilt thing again where it's making me go places and I don't appreciate that. Let me explore your game, your world you've created for me. Here, baby. One more time, baby. Hey. Any sage-like advice? Come in here and get the key. That was great advice. Thanks, baby. My dearest wife. I know the past few months have been devastating. I still can't believe some of the things I said to you. I guess I was never meant to be a great husband or father. I thought I could be a great artist. That dream has ended as well. It is, in its absence, I will do the best to treat you with all the love and compassion you deserve. For the love of my life, my muse. You will never leave me read this letter. I'm sorry. Oh. Oops. Well, that's, uh. 
fuck you to the heart springs, didn't we? Go this way. Can I go in here? What? What do you want? Great. Yep, here I am. It's our bedroom. It's just a bedroom. Okay. This room. That I don't have the keys for? What is the key for? Oh, I will be right back. We're back! Sorry about that, guys. I literally... My food got here, and it smells amazing. Which, I said to myself I wasn't going to order any food, because it's, you know, I'm trying to diet. But I got healthy food. I got a nice steak dinner. marinated in god knows what but it, it always tastes delicious and the best part is i didn't get anything fried with it got the whole rice very proud of that going on a diet trying to better myself okay so i ended up back here i know how i must feel lost alone hopeless you probably deserve it but even for you there's still a way of where to bring it all back the one precious thing you ever truly desired Finish it. Hmm. If it ended right there, that would have been perfect. Because it would have been such a great, interesting way to keep me going. Oh! That's the end of the game. Oh, man. There's a lot of flaws in this game. It is not a perfect game. But damn, if that didn't just tie it all together. The story and the world and, like, the effects aren't so fucking cool. And, yeah, you know, at times maybe it is a little scary. You know, I jumped a few times. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take that away from, uh, from the game. And, oh, man, the sound design really good really solid uh i can definitely say that i appreciate that um, i think that i think that it's important to play games like this sometimes where you're not there's no action you're not doing anything there's not any consequence i mean i gave it shit don't get me wrong and i did question if this is really a game but that's kind of what makes it so fun to play <laughs> It makes you think those things. It makes you question those things. And I think that that's really important. Plus, look at all the people who made this. Or had a part in it. Or, or were involved in some way. And that's super neat. Uh, so I guess... You know, I, I know I was talking about controls and games and whatnot. And ironically, it ended up being perfect. Because this game, at the very end there, had such shitty controls. And I hated it. But it was to drive me mad. And to, to put me in the same feeling that this character was feeling. So that, in a way, makes it really good controls. But uh, my, my question today isn't going to be that. My question today, do you want to see the DLC? Should I pick that up? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll give it till the end of the week, and maybe I'll start next week off with this. Although, what is the date? Hold on. The 21st. <sighs> eh. DLC is probably short, probably a day or two. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, give, I'll tell you what, I'll give it a couple of days. Uh, let people comment on this, let people come up with things, you know, come at me in any way they want to, and we will see uh, if if I continue on with the story of this family and, and all the horrible things that we've witnessed. I, I'm interested, I am, I'm certainly interested, I want to see what happens, and while, while I don't want to spend the money right now, I definitely, you know, I, I, that's something I could easily put down, I think it's only like five bucks, it's not bad. Um... So that's my question. Do you want me to play that DLC and get more spooked? I might just do it anyway and say to hell with your feelings because, you know, whatever. But I I think that that's fun. And I think that uh, it would be neat to see. Now, if you want to shit on me for hating Assassin's Creed, that's another thing you can talk about. So definitely feel free to do that as well. Try to make a counterpoint. I want somebody to try to fight me on that one because... Uh, I've had that conversation with a few fans of the series, and all they say is, well, just play this one. 
or play that one. Oh, don't look back. Joke's on you. I can see what's behind me. My TV's reflecting perfectly right now. <laughs> uh. Although it's also kind of uplifting, inspiring. Probably the scariest part of the game, now that I think about it. But that's it. That is that is the thing. I'm just curious. Uh, oh no, I, I when I came in it said finish it, and that's that's probably because I beat it once before. But that was layers of fear, and I never opened that safe either. Son of a gun. I wonder what's in it. We'll never know. I'm rambling. I ramble too much. I'm aware of this. But I want to see more from you guys. I I put this out there because I want that communication. I want that that love and that uh, that interest in, in, in like a group of people coming together to tell me what to do. <laughs> I think that's why I like GMing as much as I do when I play D&D. &D. Uh, so tell me definitely if you want to see that DLC. This little guy right here. Look at it. Which again, looks like he plays a little girl, so she's not dead, and I want to see how fucked up she is. I know you do too, so definitely say yes, please. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. We're so sorry, skeletons, you're so misguided.